All right, today we have a fun one. We're gonna be talking about not moving to Sacramento unless you've watched this video and know exactly what you're getting into. There are so many things to know before you decide to move to a specific area. Like, what's the weather like year round? Is it too hot or too cold? Am I gonna hate it during certain times of the year? Or what are those neighborhoods like? Are they family friendly? Are they walkable? Do they have good schools nearby? Does the city have a homeless problem? Is this something that could affect you depending on what neighborhood you decide to move to? These are all great questions, which we will make sure we answer in today's video of what you need to know before you move to Sacramento. to our channel or welcome back to our channel. We're Lance and Lauren with L2 Home Group and on this channel we talk all about what it's like living in Sacramento and the surrounding areas. So if that's something that you're interested in, then go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. We're dropping new videos every week on Tuesday and Friday about what it's like living in Sacramento. On top of making these videos, we're also licensed real estate agents in the state of California, which means as much as we love making these videos, we love helping you more with all of your real estate needs. We are the ones that answer those calls, emails, and text messages. So if you do have any questions about Sacramento or the surrounding areas in regards to your real estate needs, we would love to help you out. So let's get right to it. First on our list of what you need to know before moving to Sacramento is that Sacramento has a neighborhood for everyone. Now what I mean by this is that Sacramento has every type of neighborhood for every type of person. If you're looking for the city feel with high walkability where you can get off work and walk to your favorite store or coffee shop, then downtown or midtown might be the place for you. You can be right in the middle of all the action where you can walk to all the local events, grab a bite to eat, or even grab some beers and check out a local band at one of the many different music venues. Now, depending on what part of downtown or midtown that you live in, you can walk to the events at the Golden One Center, as well as many restaurants and different bars. One of the cool things about living in downtown is that there are so many different things to do. But if downtown or midtown isn't your thing, Sacramento also has many established neighborhoods like Sierra Oaks and Arden Arcade. These neighborhoods provide more of that suburban feel with larger lots and the commute is not too bad if you still need to be in downtown Sacramento for work. Homes in these two neighborhoods can feed to Rio Americano High School or you have the option if you want to enroll your kid in one of the two private high schools that are in the area, which are Jesuit or St. Francis. These homes are in more established neighborhoods that were built between the 60s to the late 80s. Some of these neighborhoods are close to the American River, which gives you access to miles of walking and biking trails and the American River in the summertime. Another neighborhood to be aware of when we are talking about different types of neighborhoods is East Sacramento, specifically the Fab 40s. This neighborhood is known for its large estate style homes that are pretty awesome. There are a ton of things that we love about this neighborhood, but one of our favorites is the amazing holiday display that they put on every year. During the holiday season, this neighborhood transforms into a Christmas wonderland. And it's definitely one of the top five places to check out Christmas lights if you're in the Sacramento area. Each home is decked out with Christmas lights and decorations and the streets and sidewalks are both decorated with lights that run up and down and draped across the streets. It's a huge draw for all the people all over the Sacramento area to drive into town and check them out. You can even take a horse-drawn carriage with some hot cocoa and ride through the neighborhoods and watch all the Christmas lights. Our family loves to come down here each year to see the display and get in that holiday spirit and check out some of our favorite restaurants. The last neighborhood we're going to talk about is Land Park. This is one of my favorite neighborhoods in all of Sacramento. These homes were built somewhere between the 1950s to the 1970s. What makes this neighborhood special is that it's located around William Land Park where there are so many fun things to do. You have the Sacramento Zoo that our kids loved coming to when they were little. Land Park also has a small amusement park called Thunderland that is mainly aimed towards smaller children. I remember when my kids were just graduating preschool, the school they went to did a fun outing to this amusement park to celebrate their preschool graduation. They had so much fun riding the teacups, the roller coaster, and the small log rig. They had a blast. There's also Fairytale Town and a golf course that I'll let Lance talk about. Yep, Land Park also has a nine hole golf course called William Land Park Golf Course. Now this golf course is located in the center of the park and has a few fountains and different water hazards that run through it. Now I haven't personally played this course, but it definitely looks like it can be dangerous since I haven't figured out how to control my slice. Next up on our list of things you should know before you move to Sacramento is the allergies, or at least the potential for allergies. Sacramento isn't called the city of trees for nothing. Meaning that if you move here, there's pretty good chance that you might have allergies, 
even if you've never had them before. Sacramento is covered with different beautiful trees all over everywhere you look, which is where the allergies come in. Most people move here that get the allergies say it isn't that bad with an over-the-counter allergy pill, but I even remember moving away for about eight months and then coming back and my allergies were in full force and they were pretty atrocious. Third on our list of things to know before you move to Sacramento is the weather. Sacramento has four full seasons and sometimes you can experience all in one day. Now the summers can get pretty hot with multiple days over 100 degrees. Pretty much all of the houses in the area have air conditioner units. So during the summer, you'll most likely be running your air. Or if you're like us, you might plan a water outing. We like to pack up our family and spend these hot summer days hanging out, paddle boarding on either Folsom Lake or Lake Natoma. Our winters can get pretty nasty and rainy. This winter has been one of the wettest winters that we've had in a long time. However, between each storm that rolls in, we tend to get a break where the sun will peek through and shine for a day or two before the next storm hits. Our winters aren't all gloom and doom. The best part of living in Sacramento is our spring and fall seasons. You can get some of the most amazing weather this time of year. Fourth on our list of things you should know before you move to Sacramento is that we do have traffic. Post COVID, we had a lot of people move from the Bay Area, which has made the traffic a little crappier than it used to be. The major freeways that run through Sacramento are the 50 freeway that brings people from Folsom and El Dorado Hills. And then you have the I-80 freeway, which brings people from Roseville and Rockland and the surrounding areas. Both of these two freeways, depending on where you're coming from, can be anywhere from a 30 or 60 minute commute, depending on where you're coming from in the city. If you've ever driven in other major cities or in Southern California, you'd probably think that our traffic doesn't even compare to those cities. Most locals complain about the traffic, but if you've ever lived anywhere else, you're gonna realize that the traffic's not something to complain about. Fifth on our list of things you should know about before you move to Sacramento is that Sacramento does have a little bit of a homeless problem. Unfortunately, this can be a problem in most major cities, but during the pandemic, the city's homeless problem increased. One thing to note is that while you're driving around Sacramento specifically in the downtown or the midtown area, you're gonna see it. However, you don't really see the homeless in some of the other more established neighborhoods in Sacramento. This is one thing that the city is working towards a solution to help rehabilitate and integrate these people back into the community. Sixth on our list of things to know before you make the move to Sacramento is that California has wildfires and wildfire season. Now, these fires don't hit Sacramento directly or the immediate suburbs, but their smoke can definitely affect us. Because Sacramento sits in a valley, when wildfire season hits, if the winds aren't in our favor, the smoke can travel into the valley and sit for days. This leaves us with bad air quality, and if you have asthma or breathing issues, you might not be able to go outside for long periods of time due to how bad the air quality can get. I remember a few years ago, back in 2018, we had a really bad wildfire season when the campfire hit. Even though the fire wasn't in Sacramento or even Placer County, the smoke lingered for weeks. All of our daughter's outdoor sporting events were canceled as well as their practices due to the poor air quality. The schools wouldn't allow outdoor activities such as PE or recess. That's how bad it was. Now, this doesn't happen every year, but hopefully California will get better at managing this in the future. Yeah, I don't really remember the wildfires being this bad when we were kids, but if you have any type of air sensitivity, it definitely is something to consider because it could be an issue. Next on our list of things to know before moving to Sacramento is that Sacramento is a sports town. We aren't some old cow town that everyone thought this place was in the early 2000s, the last time the Kings were in the playoffs. We have the Sacramento Kings that play at the new Golden One Center located in the heart of downtown. Now, not only is this team playing really well right now, but the whole city has rallied around them and have traded the cowbells for a giant purple laser. Anytime the team wins, they shoot this giant purple beam that shoots into the city skyline to let all of Sacramento know that the team has won. It's a really cool thing to see and it's also unified the city, bringing them all together. In addition to the Kings, we have two minor league teams, the Sacramento River Cats that play at Sutter Health Park in West Sacramento right across on the other side of the river. This team feeds into the San Francisco Giants organization and is a fun place to take the family for a night game. Sacramento also has a soccer team the Sacramento Republic Football Club, and they also play at the new Heart Health Park. Eighth on our list of things to know before you move to Sacramento is that Sacramento has so many awesome community events that happen throughout the year. There's a Jazz Jubilee that takes place every year in Old Town Sacramento. I remember my parents bringing me to this event every year when I was a kid. It was cool to listen to all the different jazz bands on every corner in Old Town Sac. Specifically, I remember the awesome food and all of the vendors that line the streets. Another awesome community event for all of the foodies is the different farm to fork events. 
Sacramento wasn't named the Farm to Fork capital for nothing. One of the main Farm to Fork events that they do each year when you can buy tickets to the Farm to Fork dinner where they shut down the Tower Bridge. They shut down the Tower Bridge and line it from end to end with a giant row of tables and serve a huge five course meal where local chefs from the area cook an amazing meal with locally grown food from farms in the area. It's a true foodie experience. Sacramento also does Second Saturday, which is an art walk that takes place every second Saturday of the month where local art galleries host an open house evening from five to nine. You can see awesome artwork, grab food from one of the many vendors, and enjoy a great night out on the town. Ninth on our list of things you should know before you move to Sacramento is that Sacramento is a water town. You have the Sacramento River and the American River where you can go boating, paddle boarding, or you can just hop on a tube and just float down the river. One of the cool things about the Sac River is that you can boat right up to some of these awesome restaurants like Chevy's or Crawdads on the river. You can park your boat and grab a bite to eat and it's a really fun atmosphere and a cool vibe. With Sacramento having the two rivers and the two lakes, you have miles and miles of trails and are great for biking, walking, and running. Last but definitely not least on our list is Sacramento has awesome suburbs. So if Sacramento isn't your thing or you want something that's outside of the city that's a little bit more affordable, Sacramento has some awesome suburbs that are anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes outside of the city. Each of these suburbs offers a little different or unique feel. You have Folsom, Roseville, Rockland, Loomis, Lincoln, El Dorado Hills, Carmichael, and more. If you wanna learn more about these suburbs of Sacramento, check out this video here. This time. So this is what we specialize in. We help people get to know the area and know the ins and outs of places that they normally wouldn't know about. Or maybe you decide that Sacramento is not the area for you. You tell us a few things about your goals and we are going to know exactly what the best places are for you and the places to avoid. So as much as we love making these awesome videos, we love helping you more with all of your real estate needs. There should be a number popping up we are the ones that answer those calls, emails, and text messages. So if you do have any questions about the Sacramento or the surrounding areas, we would love to help you guys out. And as always, just know that we got your back when it comes to moving to Northern California.